Ezra, this return to Judah involved 2,000 people. They had to walk a total of about 900 miles walking all the way. It took them about four months. Now, they were concerned about robbers and everything. And, of course, that was a dangerous trip. But they were carrying a large amount of gold and silver. Silver was the largest one thing they were carrying. And it alone weighed 25 tons. <laughs> you could see why they were worried. Ezra is held up by Jewish tradition as being the second Moses. He permanently moved the people away from idolatry towards the laws of God. What he did was permanent and has stayed with the people even to this day. Uh, just a few other things about him. He, he probably oversaw the writing of First and Second Chronicles. We know that they were written by scribes, and he's the one that set up the scribe system. And he probably is the one that either wrote those uh, books or, or oversaw it. As I stated, he started the system of scribes. Uh, now, a scribe was not just someone who copied the scripture or is a writer, but this is an expert in the laws of God. It's like a lawyer. Uh, uh, it was their job to, permit, to, to preserve the word of God and to interpret it to the people. Um, in our day and age, uh, different denominations... Some have priests and some have pastors. Now, most people think that's the same thing, but it's not. Uh, the the priests, the the denominations have priests. This is a person who stands just like the priests of the Old Testament stands before the people and God to make to make uh, intercession for them, to pray for them. The Pastor is more like the scribe. The scribe is someone who is to preserve the word of God and to interpret it for, for the people. So today we have certain denominations that have priests and certain denominations that have pastors. And so in a sense, uh, Ezra set up the system that is even used today in our churches. Uh, the, 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 the scribe. Uh, they, the scribes took the place of the Old Testament prophet. The big difference was is that the Old Testament prophet was someone who gave new revelation, preached forth new, new revelation, where the scribe proclaimed established revelation. Big difference. Well, the, the thing about sending away the wives and the children, um, this was an extreme act. But you have to understand, it was an extreme act, but it totally inoculated the people against marrying Gentiles and serving idols. It, it just did it. And... It was an extreme, but just understand that there were over 29,000 families in Judah at that time. And this really only affected 113 families. Still was an extreme act. Well, Ezra, a great man of God, has influenced Judaism down to the day and has impacted even the church as well as wrote a biblical book of of the Bible. Come back next week when we continue on with more insights on the story of the week. We'll see you next week.